So these are some big Christmas ornaments that my wife bought a few years ago. Uh, they're normally stored in an old cardboard box, but that box got crushed up and thrown away or maybe even burnt up on the big cleanup on Bo Boxing Day this year. Um, so I need something to store them in and also something for the smaller uh, decorations as well. This is something that I'm only going to use once a year or so, so I didn't want to spend much time or money on it. Well, I didn't want to spend any money on it at all, to be honest. And the day I went out to build it, it was over 38 degrees outside, so doing it fast was the only plan I had. There were no drawings, no thoughts, no SketchUp model. I just needed a big box, and that was pretty much as far as I thought about it. Luckily, because I've made so many of these uh, mega shoe boxes over the past year, I've got heaps of plywood and MDF sheet good off cuts. So I figured this would be a good project to cut down on some of them. I did change my mind on the design a few times while I was building it, but I finally figured out something that I could work with. Um, as it was a speed build, I wanted to get back inside the house where the air conditioning was nice and quick. Um, I went for the pocket hole option. So everything went together nice and quick. I think I built the whole box in just over an hour, so got to be happy with that. It was pretty much screw and glue construction. There's no thought or finesse put into it. Definitely not fine woodworking or anything like that. Uh, this part here is just pure laziness. Instead of taking the time to measure the base and cut the panel to fit, I just screwed the base on and then put the whole box on top of the saw to trim it down to size. Laziness for the win. The plywood on the lid panel was actually warped, which I didn't notice at the time. But once I put the hinges on, you could really see that it was sitting up quite high. Um, but once I played around with the hinges for a little bit, I got them in a better spot and the lid started to close a little bit nicely. And it fit all the baubles, which is, well, the plan, I guess. I found an old tin of paint that still had some left in it, so gave it a splash of that and also installed a couple of magnet catches just to keep the lid shut a little bit firmer than it was, and that was it. It's not the most attractive box you've ever seen, but it serves a purpose, it's beautiful, and it was for free, so it's enough for me. So that's the bauble box done. Um, all I added to it was a couple of magnetic catches just to keep the lid a little bit tighter than it was. I, um, there's a warp in the plywood here that I didn't notice when I put it together. Um, I know it's not a very exciting project, but it's something that I had to build quickly. Um, I did it on, it was like a 38 degree day out here. So I just came out, cut the wood up as quick as I could, stuck it all together, and this is what I ended up with. It's gonna go under the bed now, and it won't come out till late November when we start putting the tree up again. And yeah, so not a very exciting project, but what are you gonna do? Next week's project is one of those octagonal trays that I showed a little while ago. Um, it's drying up behind me at the moment, so hopefully I can finish that one off today and uh, get it up next week. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Sorry it was so boring. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.